I've just been notified. You're on the shortlist. Congratulations. Shortlist? And I shall use all the influence I can muster to ensure that you get that job. But that's very kind of you, sir, but actually I don't want that job. Yes, you do, Nathan. Of course you do. I'll withdraw my name straight away. Not a good idea. A very bad idea, in fact. Why? Well, in the first place, you're the only Brit left. It wouldn't look good to pull out before the final adjudication. Well, I didn't realize it was an event in multimedia sport. Tell me, do I wear a sponsor's logo? And it carries a rank that you're very unlikely to reach down here. Commander, International Space Police Force. <laughs> Got a certain ring to it? Hmm. A fairly hollow ring given a force of 20 so part-timers, unaffectionately termed the Star Cops. That was a cheap journalistic jibe. Stuck, though, didn't it? They need someone like you to shake them up. Somebody who's never left Earth before. Spacemen are ten a penny, Nathan. What they need is a good copper. Fine. Why don't you go up there? Out there. I'm sorry? I understand the expression is out there, not up there. I believe the expression is no thank you, sir. Detective Chief Superintendent Spring, you will attend the final round of interviews and tests. You will not withdraw your name. Assuming, of course, that you wish to continue in your present career. Do I make myself clear? It would appear so, sir. Nathan. Nathan. Time to go, Nathan. Yeah. Time to go, Nathan. Or you'll have no time for your dinner date with Lee. I heard you. You didn't respond. Has Hanson finished his bullying assignment yet? His report is in your data file. What about Langley? Also awaits further instructions. Anything from Lincoln yet? He has gone to interview the widow, as you instructed. Good. Well, let me know when he reports in. Very well. You managed to book my usual table at the Lotus Garden? Yes. There was no difficulty. It is not a popular restaurant. A cheeky sod box. Hi, Sim Gorky. This is Control. I have a green board. All systems confirm automatic. I trust all your lads are back on board. Any problems? Now's the time to speak up. No problems, Control. See you next month. Have a nice day, comrades. You know they hate to be called comrade. I thought have a nice day would be an irritating touch, too. And while we're on the subject of irritation, I'm getting irritated doing two men's jobs for one man's money. This is important. I wouldn't mind if it was something really important, like sex. It's covering for your secret life of illicit detection that I object to. Oh, so you took it out on the Russians, huh? Hmm, not especially. I was just reminding them what good old-fashioned capitalism's all about. All right, I'll buy it. The customer's right to be gratuitously abusive. Hmm, must have been nice to the backpack service man. I should think not. Besides which, their stuff seems to have been a little less than totally reliable recently. Huh, this lot seems OK so far. Well. She wasn't exactly grief-stricken, but if that was a crime, half the widows in the world would under arrest. And two-thirds of the widowers. Close the file and get on with something else, then. What was the reaction when you turned up at the house? Well, she was surprised. And she didn't think we made house calls anymore. It was embarrassing, really. Why? Well, because we don't. <laughs> Brian, you can't tell they're sweating unless you can smell they're sweating. I was the one who was sweating. What about the fella? Who? The drowned man, Brian, the drowned man. He had a very strict routine. He never varied it, apparently. Everything to a timetable. Well, no wonder she wasn't grief-stricken. What about the house? What about it? Any sign of the husband? I'm sorry. Well, he must have left some mark on the place as well as on the woman. I mean, was he a big eater? Was he a drunk? Was he a sports he fanatic? He was a collector. Oh. Antique timepieces. Widows seem to think that was rather appropriate. We must have had a lot of nice stuff once. Once? There were a couple of empty display cases. 
They looked as though they had those uh, little clockwork pocket watches in them at one time. You know sort of thing. People wear them. Well, why were they empty? I don't know. Find out, will you? I thought this case was supposed to be closed. Oh, listen, you'll need to speak to the partner as well. Didn't the commander... Yes, the just get on with it, Brian, That's will you? Very well, sir, but if the yes, commander finds out about this, Bring it's off. my neck. Well, why do you think the man was murdered? Oh. Maybe because the machine thinks he wasn't. Not very rational. Well, in the beginning, didn't be rational. Yes, as long as the end is. You know, it's starting to sound as though you're selling instinct the way your dad used to sell computers. You mean because my dad used to sell computers? Well, the Freud of the fortune copy, that's me, huh? <laughs> now, I remember, I always remember what he used to say about the old chess computers. He reckoned anyone could beat them if they grabbed the simple notion that the machine could never resist a deliberate sacrifice. Your food, okay? I don't like this restaurant much. What well, he never said. Not important. What are you going to do about the case? I've already done it. I have assigned Brian Lincoln. Yes, like her. Yes, love. You do. You know, I really thought you'd like this place. So much for instinct. I was talking about professional instinct. Is there a difference? You say it's just a policeman I've been sleeping with all these years. You thought I bought those handcuffs especially? <laughs> I turned down the promotion today. You definitely made your mind up then. I was under the impression we both had. Well, did I get a formal caution? What? Is this a joke? Your timing's all to hell, love. Are you trying to tell me you've changed your mind? You're not ready for the homemaking bit yet? Is that what this is all about? Is this what what is all about? If we're going to have a family, Nathan, it's got to be soon. Can we finish eating first? Not funny. I just thought if we're not coming back here. Oh, they all look good to me. Complete blank. Do you have any idea what you're looking for? Not really. Oh, damn it. Ah. That's a dollar you owe the fund. That doesn't count. It's float loose. How do you know? Because you always say damn it when you let something go. Do you know what I miss? Eating with a knife and fork. Do you ever get the feeling we've been out here too long? Chief Superintendent, you've been a policeman for 22 years. You've reached your present rank faster than you would have done in any other force. What do you put this down to? Caution. You're cautious? No, ma'am, it would appear the other forces are. A realistic attitude, unfortunately, is something the development program sadly lack. Don't you agree, Chief Superintendent? Oh, I always try to be agreeable, sir. Representative Henderson's contribution has always owed more to political ambition than to realism. Unlike you, Frau Muller, I was elected to office. It is fortunate that the Russians and the Americans declined to be heard here, or we might never finish our business. May we proceed? Tell me, Chief Superintendent Spring, how do you feel about the waste of resources the endeavor represents? The Star Cops? No, space exploration. Oh. Yes, well, I suppose it is rather expensive if all we're going to be as tourists. But then where the hell else to send the man who's been everywhere? It is the last great adventure. The problem is that at the moment it is administered by fools, charlatans and rogues. Well, my concern is with the rogues, sir. The fools and the charlatans I leave to your profession. Sehr gut. The acclimatization trials. Do you have any preference about which space station to visit? Anything within commuting distance of London? The German candidate has indicated the European station would be a logical choice. Well, I wouldn't presume to argue with German logic, ma'am. Out there, you get very few chances to make mistakes. How would you view that? With unbounded enthusiasm. I shall make the necessary arrangements, Chief Superintendent. And in the meantime, I suggest you pay serious attention to the astronaut training. It is intended to fit you for a hostile environment. I'll try to remember that. Maybe have the Tokyo link, please. Thank you, Chief Superintendent. Some days try as you will, nothing goes wrong.